Hello, welcome to Beach View, our podcast where we talk about all sorts of things and stuff and really interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're kind of all over the place in our topics. Yeah, always. And today's no exception. We're talking about wildlife. Yes. Just generally. Yeah, I love wildlife. I uh, find it very <laughs> fascinating, so I'm ready to get into this. Yeah, so... uh a uh, thing that kind of started us off on this is we were talking about scorpions, and I was like, do you have any scorpions where you live? <laughs> and you were like, no, but then you looked it up, and it turned out that yes. Yes, so I have never, ever seen a scorpion here, and, you know, I live in South Louisiana, and we just, we have tons of bugs, obviously, we're a very wet and kind of semi-tropical climate. And we have so many bugs, but I have never seen a scorpion. So automatically, I said, no, we don't have scorpions here. But apparently, we do. Upon researching really quickly, I saw an article in the Times-Picayune slash The Advocate newspaper from last year. And it was talking about a woman in New Orleans who had found a scorpion in her bed, but it was super tiny. And that garnered a new story because they're so uncommon here but we do have scorpions so yeah you were saying that you saw a scorpion or you were talking about a scorpion that you you do see them up there right very occasionally i think they mostly hide so i haven't seen one in years but i don't go looking for them oh so. okay so now tell me how big are the ones that you've seen are they like small or are they like yeah, the giant ones small. that you see in Texas? Yeah, I don't think they live out here. I think they need a really arid climate. Yeah, that's what and that's kind of what I was going like, what? Scorpions in Louisiana? Like maybe North Louisiana. Um for those of you who don't know in Louisiana, we treat North Louisiana and South Louisiana as basically two separate states. <laughs> <laughs> it's like separate kind of climate, separate um cultures. It's really funny because if you're probably north of Baton Rouge, we're like, okay, that's North Louisiana, which isn't really like North North, you know what I mean? So yeah, but it is. It's it's definitely a different um, situation in North Louisiana. So I was surprised to see. Um, I know when you were looking it up, you said some of these scorpions are like common in like West Feliciana Parish. Um, again, for those who don't know, we have parishes, not counties in Louisiana and, uh, West Feliciana is, is more, um, Southern. So I was very surprised about that. And I, I have never seen a scorpion here in my life, but I think it'd be really cool to see. Start kicking up rocks and bits of wood and stuff. That's apparently where they hide. Yes. I feel like, um, you know, during, I guess, 2020 when we were kind of quarantining and staying home. I went on a lot of like nature walks around here. I still had not seen a scorpion then. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, it's not like I'm sitting there like lifting up rocks and really doing my research into it. But it sounds like a nice little exploration for me now. Um, you know, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to love, I would love like all the sciencey kind of stuff. Um, you know how all kids like love, well, I don't know about all, but love experiments <laughs> and stuff and yeah. like looking for bugs and stuff like that. And so this is right up my alley. Yeah. I feel like I need to go on a scorpion search. <laughs> well, speaking of bugs, which I mean, I guess you want to get into a semantic debate uh, whether or not <laughs> arachnids count as bugs. Well, but have you seen I would love to cool get bugs? into that. Yeah, well, that, okay, yeah, that's I another, <laughs> we need to discuss that because I'm a little confused about that. But um, as far as if I've seen any other bugs, so yes, I, recently I saw this big um, millipede in my bathroom and I was getting ready to go somewhere. So I, I just let it go on its merry way. And I was like, I, I don't know if I should put that outside or like let it chill because I had read that. I think what I read was centipedes are good to have around the house because they eat other bugs and stuff like that. And so I thought, oh, like that's a, it's probably a centipede. It'll eat other bugs. No big deal. But 
upon further inspection, I think it was a millipede, which I'm a little confused about the difference between those. I mean, it's just a naming thing. I don't, I mean, they're probably related, just given their shape and lots of legs. But yeah. I don't know. They look quite different, though. Yeah, I thought, well, I thought it was super cool. And so, um, you had sent me pictures, actually, to see which one it was. And I believe it was a millipede. It was, like, black with kind of short legs. Um, but it was a pretty decent-sized creature. And, um... Again, I just let it go on its way, and when I got back from wherever I was going, it was gone. So, I was like, well, looks like you're living in at home now. <laughs> I don't Maybe know where it went, but... Maybe back outside. Yeah, I don't know, but um, I was like, oh, whatever, if it eats other bugs, that's cool. Yeah, I don't think they eat other bugs. I think millipedes mostly are uh, herbivores. Well, they need to eat other bugs, I mean... You know, I'm, I am a bug lover, but, um, I, there's some bugs like I don't want in my home, obviously. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. So I thought that was a cool sighting because that's not something you see every day. Oh, okay. Um, I looked it up. Most millipedes are detritivores. What's that mean? They eat detritus. <laughs> oh, like detritus. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So like yeah, dead plants. So. Mm -hmm. I guess. Um, I don't know like what that. else would be dead. I, I mean, they bugs. might eat dead, yeah. I don't know if they eat those or not, but uh, they often play important roles in the breakdown and decomposition of plant litter. Okay. Oh, well, I do have, like, a lot of half-dead plants in my house because <laughs> I'm not good at plants, so maybe that's what <laughs> attracted them. <laughs> I'm being honest here. <laughs> Seriously, though, I do have some dead plants in there. Not dead, dead. Like, I'm trying to nurse them back to life. I'm I'm a lifesaver, not a killer. But <laughs> um, it's not really working. But to clarify, I, it's not like my house is filled with bugs. Like, I don't just let every bug chill in my house. <laughs> but when I see a millipede, I thought it was really cool. And I was like, okay, be on your way. I didn't see you. You didn't see me. You know? Yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen a millipede indoors. This is the second time I've seen one. Like, and one was oh. probably a few years ago. But usually when I see, like, insects or bugs, whatever, I, uh, I'll do a capture and release outside. Yeah. Unless it's a roach, which we've had that discussion. Yeah. I really don't know what to do with those, so I let my husband handle those. <laughs> but, yeah. Solve my ethical dilemma for me. Yes, <laughs> like I can't kill it myself, but it should not be in our home. And it really, I mean, we rarely get a roach in our house, but um, at work, we do get some. We have a, it's a very old building and we have a, um, a tree right outside that the roaches live in. So every once in a while, we'll see a roach running around. Um, usually after a hard rain, hmm. uh, they come inside, so... It's, again, same dilemma at work. I just, I don't fool with them. I let somebody else fool with them. So, you know. Yeah, and we've already talked about bugs on this podcast before. So, uh, mm -hmm. kind of a throwback. Yeah, it's one of the, one of the things, <laughs> yeah, we have in common, though. We like, uh, we like bugs. So, what is the difference, what classifies something as a bug? Yeah, so, um, the, the, what I was alluding to there is that I think bug is usually used to refer to insect. Okay. Of which arachnids are not. See, that's, I just throw everything into, oh, that's a bug, that's an insect, but arachnids are not insects. Okay. Yeah. I, I gotta learn my terminology. But I think bug is like an informal term. Okay. So, it's like... That's why I said it's kind of a semantic debate. Does bug refer to exclusively insects, or does it refer to, like, basically any kind of arthropod that is sufficiently buggy, <laughs> you know? Right. Like, spiders look kind of similar to, say, ants or something. More so than they do to, like, mammals. Yeah, exactly. And I always just think of, like, spiders, whatever, like, everything's just an insect, like, if it's not an animal, it's an insect. You know what I mean? Which is not correct, right? Yes, they are animals. 
They are animals. But insects aren't animals. Insects are animals. They're all animals? Yes. <laughs> what okay, else I guess would I'm, they be? I guess plants? I'm trying to say mammals, maybe. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. That's confusing. They sound similar, so. <laughs> yeah. So another bug that we get a whole lot of, besides roaches, which, oh my gosh, if you live down here, like, you will encounter a roach. Um, actually, let's get into that because I was just talking yesterday. It was raining yesterday. We were walking around New Orleans and um, I was just like waiting to see like roaches walking next to me. Um, I did not, but um, again, when whenever it rains, you'll like it's like the roaches all come out to play. <laughs> but I was saying that yesterday, I was saying that um, it surprises me. And I think we talked about this before on the podcast. It surprises me how many times I've actually touched a roach, like had a roach on me. And it's been like probably five or six times, like in my life, which is way too many times. I don't feel like other people have the same encounters with roaches that I do. It's like I attract them, but there's been several times that like, it was raining. I was walking under a tree. A roach fell on my back. Like, Ew. disgusting. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, and one time I intentionally touched one because it was running up my friend's leg. Again, it was raining. We were standing in the grass. And one was running on my friend's leg. And I took one for the team and slapped it off of her. So, I just think that most people don't have these encounters. Do you think that's true? Probably. <laughs> Hopefully. Like, have you have you ever had a roach on you? As far as I know, no. <laughs> See, I'm just like, I'm, like a, I'm not a dirty kid, I promise. But it's like, they just, and I guess because they're so prevalent here, they're not yeah, that's probably, probably as by. prevalent as, as by you. But, um, you know, we're surrounded by water and, you know, that's where they, they like to hang out. But um, anyway, I was, where I was going with this is the other little creature that we have a ton of are those little brown beetles um i say little but they're they're pretty big do you have those up there i mean <laughs> what do you mean by brown beetle there's like those big things that like i always like have to look twice because i think it's a roach but they're beetles and they fly around they like i always hear them like hitting the window at night sometimes yeah yeah it's like well, there's a lot of beetles in the world, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a ton of them. I mean, you have some beetles, right? Yes. Those are blue, <laughs> though, not brown. Those are blue, yeah. Pretty cool. But there's so many of them here. And do you guys have locusts? I don't know, actually. Uh, we have grasshoppers, but... Yeah? But yeah. Um, I do enjoy, like, at night, when I'm going to sleep, you hear, you know, it's like wildlife outside of your window. You hear the frogs, the locusts, the grasshopper, you know. Oh, there's hold on. Um, so many. Uh, according to Wikipedia, no taxonomic distinction is made between locust and grasshopper species. What? So I guess they're the same thing. They're the same? Oh, okay. In English, the term locust is used for grasshopper species that change morphologically and behaviorally on crowding, forming swarms that develop from bands of immature stages. What? Okay, so I guess locust is more of a behavior than a, uh, than a, like, species. Whoa. Okay, so, okay, I just looked this up. What we call locust here in Louisiana is actually a cicada. Oh, huh. So, but I don't know why we call them locusts. Yeah, hmm. Maybe it sounds cooler. I don't know. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> We've always called them locusts, but they, you, they, we find the little shells. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that is, and I mean, I knew that was a cicada, but I was wondering why we call them locusts. And when you were talking about locusts and grasshoppers, I was like, now nah, we're talking about two different things. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but we have a lot of those. Those make yeah. a lot of noise. Yes. But I kind of like it, though. I I don't know what it is this year. There's been, like, a loud one or a group of, I think it's cicadas. 
uh, like, outside, like, near my room. And they are really loud. Yeah. <laughs> Louder than normal. <laughs> yeah. We have those, too. And I feel like, I really do feel like sometimes you'll have one, like, right outside of your window, just, like, making a ton of noise. Right? It's very funny. I like here in the wildlife, though. It's like, you know, even though we're not right on a bayou, you know, we have bayous near us and all of those sounds. It's just like it's a very, like, subtropical, you know, wildlife sanctuary, as I like to think of my yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you get a ton of different noises, like frogs and different, like, yes. bugs and stuff. Oh, it's, it's crawling with the bugs yes but i think it's kind of cool i mean of course the mosquitoes are just terrible no, yeah no don't like them but <laughs> yeah that's a that's a whole different story but um yeah i mean we just have so many so many cool little creatures over here yeah well uh you want to move on from bugs to maybe some Larger creatures, perhaps some mammals or reptiles or birds, <laughs> something of that sort. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, let's get into that. We do have so many birds here that I, and I'm not like a bird person, <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it's really cool. So, like, just in my yard, like, you can walk outside and see, um, like, hummingbirds, doves. Cardinals, blue jays, mockingbirds, uh, what are those ones that, woodpeckers. Oh, yeah. And they're super cool, um, and owls, I mean, all kinds of stuff. There's, like, you these huge owls? hawks that have been, I mean, I don't see them, I hear them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very hard to see. I have yes. seen an owl a couple of times, um, down in St. Bernard Parish, um, I've seen owl a few times. There was one that lived in a big oak tree for a while. And if you, you had to really look hard, but you can catch a glimpse. Um, but here, I haven't seen any. Uh, now, y'all have got buzzards, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, and they will, if there's a dead animal, like, on side of the road, they will just, like, be in the road and, like, they will not move. Like, when you're driving up on them, like, oh, they yeah. will move at the very last minute. It's really, I mean, I think it's it's super gross, but it's also kind of cool that they are taking care of, like, the decomposition. Yeah, no, scavengers like that are, are good for uh, decomposing very important parts of their ecosystem. But, uh, so you know what kind of bird that is, right? What do you mean? Uh, buzzard. It's a kind of vulture. Yes. Yeah, so, um, now that's interesting that we call them buzzards because that word in the rest of the English-speaking world does not refer to a vulture. Really? Yeah, that's like a colloquial thing. Oh. I don't know, like, how widespread it is, but I think it's only in the U.S. Oh. Um, but, like, the, um, rest either refers to a specific genus of hawk or, uh, like a few... Other hawks and eagles get called buzzards, but oh. uh, nowhere else calls a vulture a buzzard. Really? Um, when we went to Africa, we saw these, like, really big, well, I guess they're all really big <laughs> <laughs> vultures. But that was a really cool thing to see. I mean, again, it's really gross and smelly, <laughs> but it's just cool to see, like, the circle of life, you know? Yeah. They're they're neat birds, though. Yeah, those things are huge. Yeah, they get big. I mean, they're kind of ugly, but... <laughs> sure, they have their own beauty. Yeah, I just thought that was uh, interesting that in this part of the world we call them buzzards. Yeah, that is interesting. Because I definitely differentiate hawks from that. We have a lot of hawks, too. Um, and sometimes if there are hawks around, people who have small animals need to be really careful. But my cat that goes outside is super fat, so I don't think he has... I don't have to worry about him being picked up by a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> and you definitely don't have to worry about him getting picked up by a buzzard. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but an interesting thing, um, speaking of birds... 
well, in animals in general, is that I was talking to someone yesterday, and they had a, a friend or a neighbor who's a marine biologist, and they were talking about the abundance of wildlife that Louisiana is seeing right now, um, South Louisiana. And uh, when I agreed with that because I just read an article about the amount of geese that we have right now. So the geese are migrating, but we have, uh, especially specific to my city, there are tons of geese around right now. And um, a lot of, I guess, dolphins and lots of migratory birds, um, just a really uh, big abundance right now. Of wildlife and what this marine biologist said, of course I'm hearing this second hand, is that animals know that um, this is a, a safe place for them to migrate to right now and that's why we're seeing like a huge abundance of biodiversity right now. This is all in reference to hurricane season and so what the marine biologist was saying that um, that we should not have um, any big storms coming because the animals will know like not to stay long here if it is a um a situation where a storm is coming but he's talking about like for the whole season and we've knock on wood we've had a pretty low hurricane season which um is really significant because last year we had a pretty damaging storm yeah and several storms that we had to deal with last year for hurricane season so basically what they're saying is you don't have to worry this year so I'm hoping that that is correct <laughs> and that yes. we won't have any major storms. Hmm. Well, yeah. That's kind of neat if that is the case. I know. I'm kind of like, uh, we need to look that up. <laughs> well, seeing a bunch of animals is still cool either way. Yeah. I mean, I think it's really neat. Um, we do. I think we live in a unique place and we have just a ton of. You know, I'm sure, like, you know, East Coast or any coast, you know, has a lot of biodiversity. But um, I don't know. I just think it's really cool to see all of uh, all the animals and arachnids and insects and bugs, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and reptiles. <laughs> Speaking of reptiles, you seen any neat reptiles lately? Well, I did a, two turtle rescues mm. last month. So that was kind of cool. There was a turtle crossing the highway, and I know, like, you're not supposed to get out of your car in a highway because you get hit by a car, but yeah. it was, like, morning time. There weren't a lot of cars on the road, so, of course, I stopped my car and moved a turtle out of the road. And there was one my next-door neighbor had, a turtle that was, like, camped out underneath her car in her driveway, and she was trying to leave, and the turtle wouldn't leave, so I went over to help nudged the turtle out from under her car, and she went and put it back by the pond. So, turtle rescues. Yeah, I've seen a few turtles here and there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're so cute. Yeah, they're neat animals. I think they're awesome, and um, we have had an explosion of lizards. Hmm. Lizards and geckos, they're just everywhere right now. Yeah, we don't see that many lizards around here. We see a few, just not very numerously. Oh, man, we have tons. I think they're super cool. So, I like them. Yeah, I remember uh, any time I visited, I always saw those, uh, the ones with the, like, red chest neck thing that puffs out. <laughs> yeah. I forget what those are called. I don't know what those are called. I just call them all lizards. <laughs> Well, they are lizards. Kind of like I call everything bugs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But those are pretty cool um, to see all of those. They're just, you know, you'll hear something like rustling in a plant, like just walking by, and you think it's like a an animal, but it's actually just like a little lizard. They make a surprising that is an amount animal. of noise. <laughs> yeah. I mean a mammal. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I need to get my terminology <laughs> right. I think that's so funny for some reason. I know. Imagine not knowing the difference between an animal and a mammal. 
I feel like if I ever did talk to like a biologist, they'd be like, just stop talking. <laughs> I'm sure biologists aren't mean about it. <laughs> Most of them, at least. I would I be. guess you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what's some other stuff you have? I've been talking a lot about stuff here, but... Deer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are pretty common in a lot of places, but you see them occasionally. That's pretty cool. They're so pretty. Yeah, you see them uh, running around our neighborhood sometimes. That's good. Oh, speaking of, so we were growing blueberries, or like not a ton, just like one blueberry. I guess it's a bush. It's small. I don't know if it... <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, bush to me conjures something large. <laughs> but uh, this is one blueberry plant, uh, and something ate it before they were ready to be harvested. Oh, it was probably either a deer or a possum. So yeah, well, they had to eat too, you know. Yeah, one of those two things. Cause there was a possum coming around our yard, but it stopped. Yeah, we had the same. I named him Ollie. I think I talked about him before. Yes, you have. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. I'm, I'm actually, I think about Ollie quite a bit because i'm like where is he i don't think they live very long well yeah yeah um yeah they uh has a maximal lifespan in the wild of only about two years according to wikipedia really yeah so they don't live very long that's interesting well yeah i mean i guess ali has been coming around for quite a while so Maybe he gone. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, any other uh, creatures, species we want to get into? It's kind of interesting. We had all these things to say about uh, bugs, but like it comes to <laughs> yeah. birds and mammals and stuff. I'm just kind of like... Eh. <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are so many bugs. Yeah, yeah, it seems like maybe we're more interested in bugs than other types of animals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, you know, bugs are interesting. Yeah. I imagine I see those way more often than any other type of animal. Yeah, I think that's probably accurate. Except for the stray cats that keep coming around. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I see those, like, every day, like, in my driveway, and I'm like, move on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm always seeing, like, flies and fruit flies and ladybugs and stink bugs and stuff. Oh, my gosh. We have sugar ants in, um, oh, yeah, ants. in one of our bathrooms. And, like, not a lot. Just, like, ten or so. But they'll show up, like, in the sink. Hmm. Like, every once in a while. But they, like, don't go away. Like, they just... <laughs> like, I try to uh, do a catch and release. It is, like, impossible to catch a sugar ant, by the way. In uh -huh. case you're wondering. I've never tried. Well, I'm like, I'll just, like, move these outside. Because you can't kill them. Like, they just don't... You know, not that I'd want to kill them. They're a very important part of our ecosystem. Yes. But... They just don't go away. Like, you would think, like, you know, as many times as you wash your hands or clean the sink, like, it would kill them. Yeah. But they just, like, come up through the drain, and oh, they're just there every once weird. in a while. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, I recognize that ants are an important part of the ecosystem, but I still don't like them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't mind. The other day, went out barefoot for the first time in forever, and within, like, a minute, got bit by an ant. So. <gasps> No, you always have, like, problem. like, you always stepping on stuff, I feel like. Well, if I go out barefoot, I almost certainly get bit by an ant. It just happens. <laughs> they love you. I think I'm just bad at recognizing their piles or whatever. <laughs> you step in their piles? No, oh no, God. but if you walk near them, they're super territorial. Oh, that's true, yeah. They get very mad about you just being near them. I <laughs> well, guess you're threatening. I don't know. I mean, I yeah. don't feel very threatening, but I'm not an ant. I wouldn't know. 
They spend all that time working on their house, and then <laughs> people come along and destroy them. I mean, I, I get don't it. Destroy them? I'm just standing near it. No, I, I mean, don't realize but, I'm but that's the threat. Yeah, that's the threat. So I um, my cat will try to play with little insects outside, and I have to always go get it to stop because I'm like, leave those bugs alone. I know you're not going to eat them, so quit messing with them. Oh, your cat doesn't eat them? No. He'll just, like, bat them around. Yeah, that seems to be a, like, individual cat thing. Like, some of them love eating bugs and some of them don't care for them. Yeah. Mm Mm-mm. And I always have to stop him, you know, like I said, all the lizards we have around. Oh, yeah. He, um, there was, I saw him messing with something by the door, like inside, the other day. And I go look, and it's a tiny baby gecko. And it took its little tail off. So I hurried up and picked him up and put him outside. He seemed to be okay, but, you know, missing a tail now. Well, yeah, they do that. Well, the ones that can lose their tail, not them, all of them can, but. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, a deliberate protection against uh, predators in the hopes that they'll take the tail and be satisfied with that. Well, my little kitten, not a kitten, but a cat, was not <laughs> satisfied with just the tail. <laughs> it's so rude, though. Yeah. I hate that because, again, it's not like they're eating them. They're just messing with them. Oh, your cat won't eat stuff like that? No, he just likes to knock them around. No, yeah, if we get, uh, if our cats get a hold of stuff like that, they, well, they don't always eat them, but they usually try to eat them. Yeah, well, I mean, I can almost understand if they're eating it, you know, circle of life and all, but I'm just like, if you're not going to eat it, like, leave it alone. Yeah, they just think it's fun to hunt, even if they don't have to do it for sustenance. Yeah, but sometimes I don't know, like, um, what will bite the cat back. Yeah. Like, I don't want the cat to get hurt either, so... Like, with the millipede, I was like, I don't know if that's dangerous for a cat or not, like... (laughs) Uh, I think it depends on the species. Some of them secrete an acid. I don't know how harmful that is generally, though. Right, I think it might just be, like, unpleasant to smell and, like, taste. Yeah. But I don't know. It's probably, like, a species-by-species thing. Ah, I got you. Yeah, I just, I never want my cat to, like, get bitten or anything. I'm actually surprised with all the rain that we haven't had more snakes around. Hmm, you get a lot of snakes? I wouldn't say a lot, but yeah, it's pretty common. But I haven't seen a snake around here in quite a while. Um, But I mean, I know they live around here, I just don't always see them. Yeah, it's the same thing with me. I know they live around here. You know, like, obviously, they live in a lot of places, but yeah. I never see them. Yeah, it's very interesting, but I thought we'd see more just of the water. Yeah, one time I did see a really long one crossing the road. <laughs> That's so cool. I guess it was kind of like that joke about a chicken, but about a snake. Yeah. It was really long, though. It was like, it was almost as long as the road it was crossing, like, going across it. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it made it across okay. Yeah, it did. I saw it. <laughs> it got to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. That's funny. All right, well, you have anything else to add to this interesting conversation about bugs and mammals? <laughs> well, there's reptiles thrown in there. Oh, and reptiles. Okay. I need to work on my... uh. <laughs> terminology here <laughs> yeah, that's been wildlife i guess specifically animals we didn't really get into plants or bacteria or fungi <laughs> we'll save that for another podcast <laughs> Do you have that much to say about well i guess plants <laughs> but bacteria uh, no not really <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure i could talk about anything though <laughs> Right, yeah, well, I guess uh, you don't have anything else to add. No, I'm good to go. Okay, well, no, actually, uh, I just remembered. I've been seeing these uh, beetles around. I haven't seen them before. But, yeah. But uh, they're these, like, metallic green and purple beetles. They're really neat looking. Oh, yes. I have seen those. Those are really cool. Oh, huh. Yeah, they're pretty. I guess you have them, too. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, they dart around, so it's hard to get a good look at them, but. Yeah, they're not too common. Like, I only see them every once in a while. Yeah, but it's neat to see. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah, <laughs> that's my last edition. Uh, I'll take us out. All right. Yes, this has been a kind of aimless <laughs> podcast uh, <laughs> on wildlife. We hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.